property has been traditionally heavily undervalued. Obviously, what's driven this market as well, which is a fundamental difference from what we had in previous boom and bust cycles in South Africa, is the uh, demand that's coming through from uh, the so-called emerging black middle class. Where does that idea come from that most black people would like to, they can afford to buy in the suburbs, but they choose to stay here? That idea originates from a white person. We've noticed, particularly in the last 18 months, uh, and I'm thinking of areas like um, Mondial and uh, parts of Glen Vista and going into the Brackenhursts of Alberton, etc., where there's been a, a huge uh, influx of black buyers into those markets. In that, that particular area I'm talking about, one in two buyers was black. The older generation, we've still got that in the back, uh, you know, back of our heads. We don't move often. But the young, upwardly mobile, black, oh, there's no difference. He moves. Yeah, same as white. There's no difference between him and the white. He'll buy this year two years down the line. His situation changes financially to for the better. He, move, he moves up. The concept of trading the property and realizing the equity, the value that's been locked up in there, that is, that is happening. And uh, people are uh, selling their properties and either using that equity to buy in a better area within the township, but more and more looking to move out into the, the suburban, the traditional suburban areas. And for exactly the same reasons as anybody else would, it's proximity to transport, uh, to workplace, uh, to amenities, school facilities, those sorts of things. There are so many buyers out there and uh, there just isn't enough existing stock, not only in the townships but in the traditional suburbs as well. The black buyer is only too happy if he can be buying a property in the, in the uh, uh, suburbs being serviced by a black agent. In the broad industry, I think your, all your big players have recognised the need um, uh, first of all training, but then specifically the development uh, of, of black agents, because we are nowhere near where we need to be at this point in time. There's been a huge growth in the last uh, three and a half, four years for people saying, well, rather than go for the hassle of moving, let's upgrade the bathrooms, let's redo the kitchen, let's put in that pool, put the wall around. So the, the alterations, the uh, um, and all the artisans associated with that renovation market, absolute boom times as well. It's been huge money spent there. Now, the matchbox of the apartheid regime, that's like diamond today. <laughs> there is so much demand, and you want to see what some people have done to those houses. They've changed them. You will never be able to recognize this. Overall, uh, it's just been tremendous for the country. The wealth that's been created over the last five years has just been unbelievable. And I think the most satisfying part of it is to see that it's actually becoming more broad-based and spread amongst uh, the population as a whole.